Financial hardship for businesses right now is nothing new. So many are struggling just to stay open during the pandemic, and that includes sports venues. Leah Linscheid headed out to Muscaday to hear about one club's particular woes and how they're overcoming them. Silence. Oh. Isn't something the Muscaday Sportsman's oh. Club is known for. Oh. Never in my wildest dreams that I ever figured oh. something like that would happen. Virgil Bumcamp can't list all the events keeping this place oh. booming for years. People use it for, you know, weddings, graduations. Paul. Oh. You know, it's just unbelievable. I'm still halfway in shock. But then again, who could have called oh. COVID? The onset set back this small town club, which had to cancel two of its biggest money making shoots. Paul. Oh. Since then, the sound of gunfire has picked back up here with some safety precautions in place. Social distancing on the trap line. When you're shooting, you're actually nine feet apart. And we sanitize all the tables, wipe them down. Virgil thought they dodged a bullet. So did Treasurer Jay Adams until one midsummer day. It was July 12th. It was a little after 6 o'clock in the morning, and I noticed I had a couple missed calls on my phone. Jay's also a volunteer firefighter. My fire department pager went off, and it, you kind of your heart sinks a little bit. And they told me, well, we had a storm last night, and they think it was struck by lightning. The fire started kind of in the southeast corner of the building. Probably within a half hour, they told me they said they weren't going to be able to save the building. Very uh, emotional, you know, a lot of people were tears in their eyes and this and that, so. Paul! Still. These sportsmen have beaten back silence yet again. They have a plan in place to rebuild the club and keep the sport going. Donations coming in from not only the local community, but from across the country. It's, it's, the, it's been a tremendous support. The club has raised thousands for the new building. And in the meantime, shoots are still taking place. Been a big part of the community for years. Because neither a fire nor a nationwide health emergency can keep these guys quiet. Not by a long shot. Ah. In Muscaday, I'm Leah Lynchine for News 3 Now. Support for the Sportsman's Club is going strong this weekend. Their 51st team trap shoot is Sunday. It's actually the largest trap shoot in the entire state. Nearly 500 people are signed up for it. You can visit two entries are closed, but there will be food, raffles, a silent auction, and more. The shoot starts at 7 a.m. on Sunday. But